The San Diego Sockers are starting the MASL playoff Saturday night at the Valley View Casino Center. If you are interested in it, they're taking on the Las Vegas Legends. That would be tomorrow night, 7.05. I believe it's free parking. Tickets are really cheap. I've been to one game. They're pretty darn fun. So let's talk a little soccer as we welcome in San Diego Sockers forward Nick Pereira. Nick, thanks for coming in tonight. And uh, this is your second stint with the Sockers. You weren't around last year when Las Vegas knocked them out in the round of 16. I'm sure there's a little revenge on everybody's mind in the locker room. Is that not true? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a franchise we don't, we don't get along with particularly well. Um, we don't really like them, and they definitely don't like us. So uh, it didn't take me long to notice that, that we weren't the best of friends. It, would rivalry be like a, a good thing between you and Las Vegas? Yeah, it's a little bit of a Pacquiao Mayweather thing. It's rivalry, <laughs> but we, <laughs> we kind of hate each other, so uh, it's a little bit more than that. Okay. Well, Nick, according to Wikipedia, uh, you speak five different languages and played all over the world. I have to ask you, speaking five different languages, uh, I, I guess it's helped you a lot, and I'm guessing you're not short of people that want to hang out with you because you basically are their translator. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can't think of a team I've played on where I haven't had to help in some capacity uh, with a new signing, be it, um, be it indoor soccer, be it outdoor soccer, be it college, whatever it is. I'm usually the guy that, that uh, when things don't get uh, communicated properly, they call on me. Uh, you've played all over the world. Uh, you've also played a little beach soccer, which uh, we were just talking about, pretty demanding sport for the uh, young players out there. Speak to beach soccer, and how much does playing the different types of soccer, beach soccer versus indoor soccer versus, you know, full-length soccer, help you? I think the more chance you can get to play different aspects of soccer, it always works on a different part of your game. Uh, beach soccer is extremely technical. Um, it's really quick. Uh, it's very demanding on your stamina, on your touch. Um, so it's really important for young, guy, young players who are aspiring to play at any level to, uh, to kind of be multifaceted, to work on, on, on different parts of their game that maybe beach soccer demands, indoor demands. Um, when you're stagnant, then uh, you don't get any better. So I think beach soccer is a, a great game for technical prowess. Um, and I think for young kids, it's fantastic. The injury risks are much less. Um, it, it's really amazing in San Diego. Obviously, we have the whole coast, mm -hmm. so it's really fun. I, and uh, beach soccer, we were just talking about there in the in the break room. I mean, it, it, people don't realize. I mean, we've all run on the beach here. It's 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 hard. It's running on the beach plus kicking a ball that doesn't go very far. Yeah, I mean, the FIFA regulates the sand to make sure it's a certain depth, so it's really really deep. Um, you can't dribble because the ball gets stuck, so you've got to lift the ball out. You're usually fighting somebody off. It's really tough. I mean, it's three periods of 12 minutes, and you are exhausted after a game. Uh, now you're a very interesting story. You were born in Spain lived in Belgium, and then walked onto the UCSB men's soccer team where you helped to win the 2006 championship where you were named MVP. All I can think of is just perseverance with you. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a taller guy. I'm not supremely athletic. I'm not exactly the quickest guy. So I've always kind of had a lot of haters. It's always been difficult for me to kind of find... Look at that haircut. Uh, <laughs> it's always been difficult for me to fit in. So it, it's always taken me a while to kind of find my niche. But um, usually when I put my, my mind to the task and, and uh, I always... I'm, I, I like to win and I hate not to win. Mm -hmm. um, I always kind of try and find a way to make it work. Interesting story on how did you end up at UCSB? I mean, you were living in Belgium. How did you end up as a gaucho? Yeah, my mom's from, uh, was born and raised in Los Angeles, and, uh, and when I was choosing universities or colleges or what to do, she just, uh, we were talking about it, and, and, uh, and it was a dream of mine to come out and live in, in, uh, in California, and she said, yeah, Santa Barbara's a lot of fun, we should go check it out. So we did an official visit, and uh, yeah, I loved it. I fell in love with the city, and, and it was amazing. Uh, for the walk-ons out there, kids that you know don't get the scholarships, how tough is it to walk on as you know as a person where maybe they don't know you? You're not the highest recruiting guy on the team. It's difficult. Um, it, it really is a process, and you have to understand that that soccer is an extremely objective sport. So um, some coach might love you, um, and some coach might hate you. So uh, taking no for an answer is not acceptable, in my, at least for me. And I know there's a lot of players who get overlooked in varsity in high school and. It really doesn't matter because if you, uh, if you keep trying, it'll work out. And for me, it was just a matter of getting myself as fit as possible, um, acclimating myself to my new surroundings, and, uh, and proving myself eventually to what I could do. Well, Nick, we always like to have a little fun when we have the soccers in. Now, uh, you speak five languages. So I'll, what I want you to do is I want you to pick two languages, and English is not an option. Okay. where you will describe your game for us. We're going to look at some highlights of, of you, and you're going to go ahead and describe in, in your la language of choice. Oh, these are old school. 
<laughs> um, okay, I'm not on the field right now. Um, okay, uh, vamos a ver. Aquí está el vaquero Vélez metiendo un gol, celebrando como siempre lo hace. Aquí va Diego Rovira con la izquierda, la re no, con la derecha. Ah, y con la izquierda. Um, so we got Spanish knocked out. Let me try French, but I'm not, I'm not seeing me, man. I'm not getting I, motivated. You know, I think they used the wrong It's okay, this is the wrong year. 77 is a different guy. <laughs> bon, uh, je suis un joueur qui aime uh, beaucoup uh, marquer des buts. Je suis un attaquant. Uh, J'aime bien jouer avec, uh, avec mon dos uh, au but. Je suis uh, droitier. Um, <laughs> parfois, je mets des buts aussi avec ma, ma gauche, mais surtout avec la droite. Oh, I think we Is have people right? <laughs> yeah, hitting the SAP button on their remotes right now, wondering what's going on. <laughs> All right, Nick, uh, we're going to throw up the board one more time. Why should people come out and check out the uh, soccer tomorrow night against Las Vegas? It's going to be a great match. Um, losers go home. Um, we hate each other. There's definitely going to be some fireworks. There's going to be a lot of goals. Uh, you'll get to see my buddy Chris in goal. Um, you'll get to see me celebrating, hopefully. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be raucous. All right, Nick. Thank you very much for coming in. Check out the San Diego Soccer tomorrow. Nick, great sport. Speaking five different languages. Wow. He says he speaks six actually impressive. now. And Portuguese as well. So, I'm, yeah. yeah. He's going it. places. Knocked yes. it out of the park. All right. All right. Thank you, Rick. You got it. See you.